All right, boy, you ready to go on a ride? I just came to this um, garage sale being put on by Atlanta Vintage Toys. They got this huge collection of toys that they had bought, and it was so big that they just brought it out all out here and had a yard sale, lined the boxes out and everything. Um, it's freezing cold out here, but there's still a ton of people. I got the whole back packed full. Some vintage stuff, some newer stuff from you know 90s. But quite a bit of stuff 750 bucks is what I got all this for and when we get it back I will kind of pull it all out and show you what we got but lots of Star Wars there was a ton of Star Wars stuff um, but then some other stuff like Planet of the Apes the Shadow G.I. Joe different stuff like that All right, we're back at the store here and I'm gonna show you something we got going on. We've started creating an area that's gonna have like toys and games, like vintage toys, video games, new toys, all that kind of stuff. And this, down these shelves here, in the display cases, we've already started. You see we got video games in here now. We're gonna be getting more stuff. We got a bunch of pop figures, mostly empty still, but. We got a Harry Harry Potter book set. We got action figures, more book sets, different stuff like this. So I went into I went to a vintage. It was advertised as a vintage toy garage sale, even though some of it was vintage, some of it was I guess maybe you call retro or not even retro from the 90s. But everything was 90s and earlier there wasn't anything that was newer than that but all this stuff right here I spent $830 on everything that I everything that I've got so I'm gonna do a quick kind of show you some of the stuff that we picked up Let me look up here real quick Let's see right here this is speeder bike with Luke Skywalker this is like 90 stuff right here this is the big one with 12 inch figure we got a GI Joe here and it's got the actual 
locker foot locker series with all the weapons and everything in it and then i got five more gi joes these are all of the 12 inch figures so one two th three four six all together this one's a little bit bigger for whatever reason all right and then we come down here star wars snow trooper set it's got luke hans in their snow outfits from um from hoth and from remember the movie where they go to hoth and you know he ends up getting captured by the um abominable snowman looking creature um and then we come right here this is from hoth also this is hans solo running the tauntaun i remember this creature looks like halfway between a dinosaur and a billy goat this is a big one here 12 inch figure there all right if we come down here um i think there's a few more of these but a couple of these figures here we've got hans and luke we have a gobots um lunch box here this is a plastic one 1984 and has the thermos and if we come right here we've got the metal 1979 the black hole walt disney production made by Aladdin. it has the thermos with it and then a whole box of these little topolino disney magazine slash comics here all right we're gonna move over here we've got i've got let's see five of these star wars shadows of the empire figures here different ones a couple of the shadow I think these are like early 90s let's see 1994 transforming Lamont Cranston and ambush shadow and then we have this Marvel collector box X-Men and it's got five different figures here Cyclops Iceman Beast Angel and Marvel Girl we got a few lightsabers here Count Dooku um, that's an Obi-Wan like a young Obi-Wan and a Qui-Gon Jinn and we get these vintage buttons these are I think from the early 80s now that's 1977 Darth Vader another 1977 not sure that's a this is 1983 we're gonna empire strikes back vintage patch star wars little handheld game here some pez dispensers the plastic's kind of coming off a little bit a little vintage candy with that Ewok there. Metals. I guess these are, I don't know if these are like pins or what, but some vintage Star Wars metals. There's a few of them. Look at this. Here's the old wallet. 1983. That's the year I was born, 1983. Star Wars trading cards. Um, move these. See, that one's coming all the way off right here and it's missing the pose but <laughs> these are all just coming apart oops and the pez are falling up a little keychain metal keychain this is a little i don't know what his his name was or everything but a little droid another metal got an x-wing fighter and Darth Vader and then we get this C-3PO tells of the golden droid I think it has a figure it's got a figure he's got accessories and I think it has a book with it it's a whole book here and I believe oh, not without pulling that all right now there might be a VHS in there Come here, look at this right here. Vintage model. It's 
Return of the De Jedi Jabba's Palace. This is 1983, I believe. Uh, yep, 1983. The plastic's coming off a little bit right there, but it's never been opened or put together or anything. All right, now Lord of the Rings. This is modern. This is probably 90s. This might even be 2000. I don't know. This is... Not sure. But yes, definitely modern, but... A little something different because that's the only Lord of the Rings thing I saw. Here is, I think this is like a soundtrack. We have a TIE fighter. And if we come down here, we got every, we got the Jar Jar Binks type creature. That's not him, but one of his his kind. Captain Torples and Kadu. And then right here, this is cool right here. We've got Luke from Hoth in the abominable snowman looking guy. He's a Wampa. And then right here, this thing's a little bit dusty. We get an X Wing fighter here. And then we got Django Fett's gun. It's a Nerf gun. Django Fett has got the holsters. And then right here we got an old vintage VHS set of the three original movies. Look at that right here. And it's got the cool pictures and stuff here. All right, then we come down here. These are all these are all vintage from the 80s. I think 1983 is when these are all from right here. Yep, 1983. More buttons. Look at this right here. George Lucas Super Live Adventure. It's got Indiana Jones, Star Wars. Is that the um, Willow? I think that was. Buttons. Buttons. And then we got a pop-up comb, Darth Vader. And then a pair of scissors. It's got the little hologram on it there. We got Jabba the Hutt and Han Solo. The Land Spirit's got, um, does it come with Luke and Obi-Wan? Figures and sold separately. Okay, so it's just the land speeder, but it's the kind that Luke and Obi Wan rode in. And then we've got this. We've got all these. Okay, this one right here is a little bit different than the rest. I said Chewbacca because that's an action collection, and all these are collector series. And you open the front here, and then it's got a 12-inch figure in there. That's Luke. But in the same exact series here, we got Darth Vader, Princess Leia, Tusken Raider, somebody from the Cantina band, Han Solo, another Luke Skywalker in his X-Wing gear, Obi-Wan, and Admiral Akbar. And then if we come down here, we got a few Planet of the Apes 12-inch figures. Then we're gonna head this way right here. This is a um, Millennium Falcon. This is actually a little action figure holder. Let me open this up here. And see, it's got the sticker still to label it. You put all your figures in there. And here is some vintage cork board Star Wars decor, 1983. Got a little damage right there. We got C-3PO, he's a little rough around the edges too, and R2-D2. Then right here we got the little R2-D2 robots. And these are from 1978. There's two of those. They take a battery. No idea if they're going to work or do anything, but we'll see. We got the 1978 
Darth Vader figure. There's this cape right there. Here's a Chewie, 1978, kind of goofy looking, huh? And here's the snowman, the Wamba, Wampa, which is, this one's 1981. And then here's a couple more. There's a Luke and a Stormtrooper. Those are 1978. And then we've got the 1978. It's marked right here on the, the tag. I'm sorry, 1983 Ewok plush. Pretty good condition and really clean. All right, we got an Electrona Ask Yoda and the Force there you and go. its wisdom are all around us. And Ask you your will, a yes or no question. Sends the Force in my left hand. Press it and answer you. I will. And he works. All right, we got a, an Unleash series. We got a few of these on the Unleash. There's Yoda. There's Luke and Mace Windu. And then we've got this big boy right here. This thing's huge. I guess it was to hold a figure this size. Um, this one's called a Dewback, and it's kind of rubbery plastic. We come this way. Just showed you that. We got a brand new, still in the plastic Jurassic Park deluxe playset, and it's the color forms. You know, we take these little things and you stick them onto a scene. Like there'll be a doesn't have a picture, probably like a big jungle scene, and then you'll set the put the dinosaurs on them. All right, couple of vintage pillowcases. Look at this one right here. Look at that. And there's another one there, slightly different. Here's the vintage. I think this was 1983. Yeah, 1983. Jabba the Hutt. R2D2. He's a. Let's see. I don't remember if he holds figures. I'm thinking he does. Maybe let's see. I don't know which side you open him on. I know I had him open earlier. All right, we'll move on right now because I can't, without fumbling around here, I think it opens right there. But I think this is another one that will hold figures. 1998, so this is some of the newer stuff. Then we got these old Star Wars, no, I'm sorry, Star Trek figures here. Um, look like 70s, I would think. Maybe 60s, 70s. I don't know how old Star Trek is exactly, but it looks probably 70s. Then we have another color form set right here. This is from Batman Forever. This was the one with, I think it was Val Kilmer played Batman. And you had the Riddler with Jim Carrey. All right, we come down here. I don't know what this is, some kind of old Star Wars magazine the making of the world's greatest space adventure movie looks like 70s or 80s um here's an old at 80 or at at whatever you want to call it i think this is 1983 it'll stand up those legs will adjust down it's an old matchbox um car carrier and then we've got a read-along cassette with book and a mouse pad and that's it so a bunch of stuff to fill up my shelves over there just got to get it all priced all right so that's it for this one if you like this video just give us that thumbs up leave a comment and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button y'all have a good one